Hey, so if you've been following my channel, you probably know that I drilled into an abandoned vending machine. Turns out, it wasn't really abandoned. <laughs> so a few weeks back, uh, I got told by basically the location that I had my machine at, where I stole the other guy's machine, basically told me that the guy came back in, and he was looking for his machine, and he was pissed. <laughs> so they wrote down his number and told him that I would give him a call. So I got this guy's number, and I texted him, and I used the principle that I talk a lot about on this channel, which is not to ask for permission, but to beg for forgiveness. I didn't ask if I could steal his machine, but when he wanted it back, I begged for forgiveness. That's basically what I did. I just said, I'm sorry. I'll give you your machine back. I'll give you everything back. Like, I'm totally sorry about this inconvenience. And it worked out in my favor. He was chill about it. Uh, he didn't seem pissed over text. And uh, I'm going to give him his machine back. And I mean, I was brutally honest with him. I told him that I drilled into the machine. I told him that I was going to get it in a new location. But then I said, uh, I just had a slight feeling that maybe he would have still been alive or something went wrong. So I kept the machine in my house and I just waited for a call from him. And what do you know? I got in contact with him. Do I regret it? No. Because it could have totally also went in my favor in the sense that I actually got to keep the machine or I got to keep all the money that was inside of it. I mean, you win some and you lose some. In this case, I lost it but it wasn't too big of a loss. All I have to do is give it back. You know, this whole situation isn't going to stop me from being entrepreneurial. It's not going to stop me from taking risks because I know that if I keep doing things without asking for permission and rather begging for forgiveness, there's some things that I will win and I will get done in this world. But also I am going to try to be a little bit less of a scumbag because, you know, stealing a machine, uh, I'm not too proud of it. <laughs> but yeah, all went well. Everything turned out fine. Um, we're just waiting on... Uh, a new pair of locks to come in because I'm repairing the machine for him because I drilled into it. Uh, we ordered a new lid that already came and then we just ordered a new lock that's going to come in the future sometime soon. Uh, so yeah, once we get it all repaired, we'll give it back to him. Uh, but I'd also just like to add, the machines at my school are going crazy right now. <laughs> like literally every time I am buy one of my machines, I see at least two kids just vend from it. Oh my gosh, and I was in Spanish class earlier, and I was literally just like sitting there, like not even looking, eyes closed, all I could hear was just the sound of vending, oh my gosh, so sweet. So I'll have some videos uh, checking those machines out soon, but I still have a machine that's at my house and empty, and I need to pretty much get a location for that, because like I said in my last video, I want to switch to gumballs just because they're easier and a lot more efficient and cost effective, um, but I mean if I can't even get a location, why would I get more machines? So I want to go ahead and get machines for those. And then once my machines are in there, then I can talk to the owner or not even talk to the owner. I'll probably just replace it with a gumball machine. They probably won't even care. Um, but yeah, we just got to go ahead and get that done. But this has been Austin Hustles. Remember, don't ask for permission. Beg for forgiveness. Something happens, it happens. And oh, well, you just roll with it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content. If you do, go ahead and subscribe right down here. To the left of me, i got some of my older videos. Uh, I'll put up here on the top the video of the original drilling into the vending machine. But this has been Austin Nussels, and I'm out.